Oscol is a new sub-brand of Chinese giant company Blackview, known for its rugged smartphones, mobile phones and tablets. Oscol is being focused on trendy and ultra-affordable smartphones, mainly intended for young audience. In today's video, we're going to be focused on the newest low-budget and ultra-affordable all-round mobile phone called Oscol C60, equipped with 4780 mAh battery, face recognition feature, Sony camera and fueled by MediaTek Helio A22 quad-core processor, powered by Android 11 and costs only around 100 bucks. We'll talk about specifications and features of the phone, we'll do a few practical tests and comparisons to check the camera quality, its performance when it comes to gaming and its battery life. And we'll talk through all the major aspects of this ultra affordable phone, so stay with me. Welcome back, this is Adam and you're watching Family Pop TV YouTube channel. In a rectangle shaped blue purple box with the slogan only the brave printed at the top of the box, we can find the phone itself, multilingual instruction manuals and standard 5 watts charger. The phone itself has a smoky color silicon bumper case and a screen protector film already applied on the display. I like it. The attractive design of the phone is reminiscent of other famous brands judging by the look of the camera compartment on the back of the phone. It looks modern, it certainly looks way more premium than its price tag. The C60 is available in four colors, black, and this is the model we're testing today, blue, mojito, oh I love this one, and purple. In terms of design and build quality, the Yosko C60 is built from plastic and to insert the SIM card you'll need to remove the plastic shell. I cannot remember the last time I've seen the whole back came off just to access the SIM slot. Wait, there are two of them, plus a micro SD card slot. This starts interesting, that means the storage space can be upgraded to half of terabytes and this is great to store the photos, videos and music. Obviously, the shell means the phone isn't waterproof, so keep this in mind, so I'm not going to throw this one into the pool today. The Oscol C60 has a glowing 4.6 out of 5 stars rating on Amazon. Let's briefly check what the existing users have to say about the phone. Decent device for a simple life. Sleek looking. Good spare phone. My teenager loves it, right, that's what I reckon Oscol brand is targeting the younger audience and teenagers. Intuitive, everything's work as it should. We will test the functionality and performance of C60 later in this video. Nice smartphone. A great buy and huge value for money, that's what the company aims to achieve as far as I'm aware, the great value. Right, plenty of glowing reviews, let's check if there are any critical reviews. A very affordable product if you don't expect to have decent fluidity. Right, as you know, it's hard to find a balance between the high performance and low manufacturing costs, but I think Oscol did very well here. I'm going to test the gaming performance of C60 in a minute, but before I'm going to test it, just a few words about the design and used components of the C60. Let's start from the battery. The C60 itself weighs only 195 grams. If I would throw the silicon case at this scale, it's 215 grams, still ultra light. And it's also pretty slim in this 8mm thickness. Oscol through a 4780 mAh lithium ion polymer battery, which can sustain the phone up to a 4 to 5 days of average use on one single charge. And that's fine. C60 can be charged only via micro USB connector at the bottom of the phone. Average charge takes around 3 hours when using the included 5 watts charger. You might speed up the charging with the use of the fast charger as the phone supports fast charger up to 33 watts. And then the full charge takes only around 1 to 1.5 one hours. Oscol C60 features a 6.528 inch IPS LCD display with 
720 by 1600 pixels resolution and 19.5 by 9 aspect ratio, which effectively gives us the density around 272 pixels per inch. The display has a brightness factor of 520 nits and that gives bright pretty sharp image with around 16 million colors and has wide enough viewing angles which are more than fine for consuming visual content. The Oscol C60 is equipped with a rear module consisting of 13 megapixel main Sony IMX258 camera with a 1.85 aperture along with a single LED flash. The camera supports autofocus, continuous shooting, digital zoom up to 8 times magnification, HDR and touch focus and face detection. Let's do some back camera test. Here's a few unedited photos in 13 megapixels, looking pretty good. Here's how they would compare to the photos taken by iPhone 11. As you can see, the iPhone captures a bit warmer colors and the photos are comparable in terms of sharpness and resolution. At the front notch, we got a single 5 megapixel selfie camera with 2.4 steps aperture, ideal for HD video calls and it also supports Face ID and AI beauty mode. Ok, we know how C60 shoots the pictures, let's see how it's capturing videos. For comparison, I have recorded the same video on iPhone 11 as I think the iPhones starting from iPhone 11 having a superior cameras for video recordings. The maximum video resolution is HD, which is 1920 by 1080 pixels. The video is having 30 FPS, which is fine. There's no image stabilization, as you can see, the video capture on C60 is pretty wobbly comparing to the iPhone. In C60, every camera shake is clearly visible, however, it's still pretty sharp. The C60 consistently auto-focusing. Now, let's try some zooming. The C60 has only digital zoom. It gives 8 times image magnification. It basically crops the portion of the image straight from the sensor. So I would say don't overdo the zoom. I'm pretty happy with the photo and video quality, but let's not forget, this is an ultra budget phone. Tell me what you think in the comments below. On the inside, the C60 is powered by the MediaTek Helio A22, a lower mainstream ARM processor for smartphones manufactured using a 12 nanometer process technology. It has four Cortex A53 cores clocked at 2000 MHz, along with PowerVR GE8320 graphic processing units. The rest of C60 specification is solid, low, and mainstream which is 4GB of RAM and 32GB onboard storage, which is expandable up to half of terabyte with an external micro SD card, which can be inserted into the SIM tray. When talking performance, the Oscol C60 gets the Antutu score of 67,000, much less than Xiaomi Redmi 9AT, but more than Blackview A55 and Ukitel WP18. That makes the C60 a pretty solid entry-level phone for general use, considering its amazingly low price of around 100 British pounds, 100 American dollars, or 100 euros on Amazon. And even more discounted prices are coming as Amazon Prime biggest deals are open from 12th of July 2022. So keep checking for great discounts. If you want to check it out, there are Amazon links in this video description. So keep watching these low prices. As for the gaming performance, I tried my power hungry games. Here's my favorite game, Call of Duty Mobile. Don't forget, this is an ultra budget phone. It's not intended to be a gaming phone, but it does a fine job. Right, let's try one of the most popular and most demanding games on mobile platforms, PUBG or Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. I'm playing in default quality now, all looking fine, the game is pretty smooth, the graphics looks good, I guess I can even do some shooting with this level of smoothness, it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, that was easy. 
In the game, up to 100 players parachute onto an island and scavenge for weapons and equipment to kill others while avoiding getting killed themselves. The last player or team standing wins the round. So obviously you can play games on C60, of course. Just keep that in mind while I'm showing you here as what I'm showing you here are the recent most hungry for power, most recent and most demanding graphical games. If you want to watch movies and other content on YouTube, Oscar reduces 4K videos to HD quality but it plays at 60fps. The Oscar C60 comes with pre-installed Android 11. This software comes with heavy customization known from Blackview phones and tablets and the modified OS is called Doke. So it's not a stock Android experience, which is great. The C60 comes with a few pre-installed games and free version of Office apps, and with a couple of unobtrusive apps like a password protected kids mode to lock down the apps available. During my tests, the OS was stable and everything worked as expected. The other features, the phone doesn't support the NFC contactless payments and hasn't got a fingerprint reader, but as I mentioned before, it has a quick facial ID recognition. Okay guys, if you enjoyed that video, please give us a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button so you won't miss when the next video comes out. I'll see you next week, that was Adam and you watched Family Pop TV YouTube channel.